Oh, shit. Here we go again. This is a certified hood classic. Hey, now. All rise, order in the court, and judge is not bald. No, look at that. Good head of hair on that old feller. He's probably younger than me, but I'm going to call him an old feller anyways. <laughs> <Probably much other. laughs> That's too funny. Well, we got a case uh, Tuesday. Don't forget, uh, scheduling note. I'm not going to be here tomorrow uh, for court. I don't know about this one, but I know I'm not. To be determined. Yeah, card right. subject to change. <laughs> that's right. Keep an eye on the Discord, as they say. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's Creed's birthday, but don't you dare shed a tear. He'll be back for we got a chase tomorrow, oh, yeah. allegedly. Absolutely. And Vicky, three months. It's been a beautiful 90 days. I was talking about that in my family the other day. I said, you know what? Vicky's been around almost 90 days. Can you almost, believe that? We're going to celebrate that on Tuesday. And do it up big, everybody. All right, Creed. So TPO Tuesday is not only just Taco Tuesday, it's also TPO Tuesday. Well, we got a lot of feud neighbors. Uh, I believe just about all these people are neighbors uh, that we're going to see today. We've got a good, good handful, uh, quality handful. Um, quality handfuls uh, before we went live, Mikey, uh, very quickly said, which one of them were we going to do? <laughs> yeah, I was like, which one of these uh, broads would you on a bang do? I, I picked mine really quick. Yes, there's there's one clear winner. <laughs> there is. <laughs> the judge, obviously. The judge, obviously. Look at the way he, sh- he presents yeah. the top of his head. Right. Uh, there's a actually a return customer in this bunch of uh, angry folk. Uh, if you remember... There was a guy who said that, you know, he was having really bad diarrhea from it and he was yeah. having all these issues, health problems because of the, you know, the yeah. flying up and down the road. And he, he even he even broke it to us that his daughter had been murdered. He was uh, right before as we were going live. Him, right? They were sitting uh-huh. at the desk. Is that what we're talking about? I think. He was sitting at the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's him on the on the thumbnail, yeah. Nice. Um, but and he he had a problem with putting up signs and stuff too, if I remember. Yeah. So I don't know why they're back, but we'll find out along with some new gems, I'm sure. Nice. Okay. And good morning. We have a, a few cases here that I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, Judge Meyer alerted me are ready to be heard. So um, looking at the. Uh, calendar um uh miss first i understand that you were able to get service on uh miss o'hara yes sir okay and then miss o'hara has not responded oh. <laughs> the only response she did is set a fire at my house oh that's quite a response right, and i'm i'm mostly saying wow. that for the record <laughs> um, Wow. Ms. O'Hara has uh, not responded according to our records. Uh, and thank you, Kayla. I'm going to check and make sure that. Is we Pam don't too have old for bangs? I see a lot of bang here, talk. Here that we do not. They're not flattering. Let's just say that of any age. Unless you're a little Dutch boy, maybe. All right. Then, um, Ms. Bershaw, I'm going to go ahead and grant your uh, anti harassment order. Oh, thank you. And we'll uh, thank extend, you. Um, <clears throat> all of energy uh, from the temporary order for a year. Okay. And mm-hmm. it's just, just going to have to bear with me a second here because I have to make sure that the uh, terms and conditions of the order that I issue here are the same as they were in the uh, temporary order. Hello, Steve. Okay. By the way, I guess I. Uh... <laughs> Is in order to not only Marky Marky, but uh, also uh, Triple H as well. Wow. Birthdays today. Triple H and Double M. Happy birthday! And look at the face on Pam. Everybody's faces are really weird. They're freaking me out, bro. What's happening? Oh, my God. Look at the judge in the middle one. 
The judge looks like he has on one of those white, uh, like, uh, he's turning uh, into a demon or something. What a great stoppage there. Pam looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. All right, Miss Bershauer, I've issued your order by default on the same terms and I love Fred uh, as the temporary order. And that order is in effect for the next year from and the uh, the other modification that mm -hmm. I'm going to call is uh, Blacksmith versus Vernum. Hey now, and uh, let's see. I know that for the parties real. are both here. I just don't know who's who. So uh, it looks like Mr. Blacksmith is there on. Remember him. Line. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sir. And you're Mr. Vernum, yes, sir. Go ahead and have. Of a course, seat. he came in. This is number 23-311 on a motion to modify the uh, order. Um, so I've, uh, this, I'll just explain how I'm getting to where I'm getting here. Um, looks like there's some additional stuff that's been filed. Okay. Does she look a lot hotter than the last time we saw her, if that's the same woman? <laughs> Okay, normally uh, the way we haven't uh, never seen her, I don't think. Is, oh, okay, <clears throat> this right. is a case where a uh, anti harassment was previously issued by the court. I believe Judge Meyer did that. Um, in order to put a case like this on the calendar for a modification of that order, it's required that the person seeking the modification file the appropriate motion and declarations, which was done here. And then there's a review by the judge for a sufficient cause showing prior to a case being set on the calendar. That Gary? Got skipped here. So this Gary. got set directly for a hearing, which I think kind of creates the impression that there's um, substantial cause to change the order. Now, I've reviewed the petition. Uh, and okay, so we're here to change it. Made in it. And based on that, there is not a basis to modify the order. Um, there are a couple of major reasons for this, but the primary one is that the uh, request would uh, be to severely and substantially limit the respondent's uh, free speech rights, and uh, the court can't do that in a modification order or, or, or in an anti-harassment order. So, okay, hold on. Blacksmith, the so, Mr. Blacksmith brought this because is it about the signs again? Because remember, he, he puts up Maybe. signs in his yard. Cause, but he a judge just said something about the free speech order. Yeah, that we're not going to stop him from putting up, I'm guessing, putting up those signs. Because remember, he 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 was on it. He rode a Harley. He also had a big, loud truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, the old dude didn't like that. And he put up a bunch of signs, I believe, telling yeah. him, like, derogatory names maybe a little bit or tell him to go back to somewhere and things yeah, like that. I believe so. Uh, definitely was not a uh, a very nice dude, but at the same no. time, he said he was protecting the neighborhood by putting up these signs. Yes. Truth is, this case probably wouldn't have been calendared for a hearing if it had been if your submission had been reviewed for by by a judge for sufficiency uh, rather than just set for a hearing. So, um, I, I want you to to understand though that I guess both of you to understand that. The provisions of the order that Judge Meyer issued um, are still in effect, and they prohibit contact and communication, among other things, as, it, as it's written in the order. If you believe there's been a violation of any of those provisions, the thing you should do is report that to law enforcement, because they would be responsible for enforcing that. Um, if you're concerned about the things that that Mr. Vernum is saying about you or representations he's making to others about oh, so you. Uh, an anti-harassment order is not the vehicle for addressing that issue. Uh, Your Honor, I did actually uh, contact law enforcement and uh, law enforcement said because of the nature of the situation that it was really something that needed to be remanded to the court because they had concerns about uh, First Amendment as well. Um, uh, my basis is not um, uh, grounded with uh, Mr. Vernum's freedom of speech. It's the continuing harassment that he's continuing um, to do towards me, um, which he's admitted to witnesses. I have witnesses with me um, uh, uh, that state that, yes, those signs are directed uh, towards me and he wants everybody to know, you know, exactly the kind of person that I am. 
Um, uh, I've not actually uh, been by Mr. Vernum's house at all. Um, I've not um, harassed him in any way. I've not really even communicated to my neighbors um, what's going on because, well, I'd like this whole thing to end, but Mr. Vernum seems to be continuing to focus on the situation. And um, so I'm just here trying to figure out what my options are as well, whether I need to take this civilly to uh, get yeah, a lawyer. Mr. Blackson, take, or, if, or, you want, if you want to know what your options are, I would suggest you consult counsel about that. But okay. but what you filed here is a motion to modify the existing order, and the request is to modify it in such a way that it wouldn't be a lawful order. Then, so for that reason, the court should not have placed even placed the allegations on for a hearing. Um, Pam Butterfield, thank you for the five doll hairs. So to understand, we're back at it again. Yeah, he this called, time. The popo, you know, which I guess I, I would think. I mean, I would. I mean, I'm right here with this guy. I would have thought that was a violation mm -hmm. with him putting up all the the signs and things like that again. But I would love to hear a quote of what exactly is on these. Because remember, he would stand out beside the road and yell at them and curse. Perfect. Okay, sorry, I'm two for two with stopping today. I just yes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's the one you want to see. <laughs> um he would stay out there and he'd yell at them and curse them when he'd drive by. And you know, so I would really love to know what those signs are, but I'm sure we won't find a home. No legal grounds. None. Love to know as well. 23 Ooh, months. Oh my goodness. Bill. That falls under the technicality of OG. This is an OG call. I'm sorry, I can't I can't help but to stare at her face for a moment <laughs> before I press play. I mean, it's, it's it sounds nice. like law enforcement keyed into the same issues that, that I did on reviewing this, which you know I think is appropriate. But the the answer to your issue may be something else. I, I think if you were to consult with counsel, you may come up with some other options if you know that are more appropriate but um we we'll get better veronica my god we can't convene a hearing to discuss options for how you can approach this that isn't what a get court well. is for understood your honor yeah all right so i am just going to sort of line speak? this to the stage of not not um finding sufficient this is an og call proper grounds uh, a sufficient showing has not been made in order to place this on a calendar for modification so come on judge just let mr what's his name talk together all right and mr vernum i uh, we're not here to air grievances or no i'm not here to air grievances i'm here to there he invoke my first amendment which judge Buck no airing of grievances there ain't no festivus pull up bro that's right he's about to lay it out though he's uh he's here and he's ready for action no. See, I they, whenever if anybody ever 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 laughs uh when we say this is a damn educational channel, JG took something from that day. That day she, they, they don't put ceiling fans in motels. That's right. <laughs> we agreed with 18 years ago and two weeks ago when my neighbors lied about me, two of them, and killed my daughter's dog. Five years after my daughter was murdered we're not here for i realize that but i have a first amendment i haven't used this man's name i live a quarter mile away from mr that. vernon the, we don't need to do this the, well, like i said we're not he's been harassing me he calls <laughs> really thank you for the five I appreciate you and uh that i didn't put his name on any of them i just said hey old squirrel chin Again. You F the F off. <laughs> I love how uh he's just fired off on all cylinders right where we left off, actually. Yeah, he isn't slowed down. And by the way, why does Mr. Blacksmith need so many damn coat or hat racks? I mean, uh, yeah, he's got a lot of racks on racks behind him. Does he have suspenders on? I think he does. Mm, maybe. Hmm. Ops on me, Mr. Vernon. We're not here for that either. Well. I'm done then. Yes. On November 6th, I can come and get my daughter's guns that they took. I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. You see, question. John, I have a broken hand. I can't do the gun. Mr. Vernon, I. And this man's a liar. I'm going to move on to some okay, other business before the court. 
Is he walking right. out? I think he's right. walking out. Right. 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 for today. Okay, well, so I'm Mr. glad we got one helmet in there. I'm an answer period. He's still bitching from the back of the courtroom. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Did you have any further instructions? I, I, I no, there's, there's nothing else. I've Thank never you. seen a more angry guy that, that uh, won. All right. And I've got a couple of other two party cases that we're going I've to I've never seen address. such a good zipper uh, on that I thing, will too. These in this order. The cases in which a temporary order was issued will be heard first. Cases Off in which job. no temporary order was issued will be heard after those cases. <laughs> so the first matter that I will take up will be uh, Casey Ballou versus Randy Taylor. Oh, what a great last name. 4 6 0. See the tent? All right. And you're. Are you Randy Taylor? You're Taylor? Something, something interesting. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll get, I'll get to that. Oh, he's talking to somebody in their court. God, it's like how bumpy the room um, is. These two have nothing to do with each other, right? No, but I would see her getting something against this guy. <laughs> sure, after Real court. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, do you hear that damn zipper? My God. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Good he zipper meant, on that bag. You meant business. Listen, if you're going to angrily zip up something, that is the zipper you want to have. That's what I know. Facts. I promise. Yeah. Okay. And Casey Ballou, you're here too. Uh, Casey, Creed Frame. Sorry, the Zoom's going. Right, uh, yeah, you broke up there a little bit, Mr. Ballou. Are you able to hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, I can hear you. Yes. He's in the space station. So um, it looks like Mr. Taylor was served. And uh, that proof of service was filed with the court today. And let me I'm going to take a look at the proof of service because that declaration will tell me when it was served. And it says here that it was served on March 6th, which would have been Wednesday. The day before my birthday. And that was also Wild Worm okay. Wednesday, by the so, way. So, yeah, Wednesday, yeah. At 10.30 p.m. Gotcha. Okay, and Mr. Taylor, I was uh, asleep. you have uh, indeed raised the issue that you may need more time to respond to this. And I thought it was kind of strange because they only served me the order, mm -hmm. not the petition. You didn't get the petition. And none of the evidence. Okay. When I came to the courthouse and got the petition, they said they're not giving me the evidence that I had to do it all myself online. And it says right yeah. under orders that the law enforcement should give me all of yeah. those things. And the courthouse wouldn't even give me the evidence. Okay. Um, it, this doesn't even say what was served on you. Oh, the, it says the temporary protection order and notice of hearing was served on, but not, not the petition. Or the evidence. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. the evidence is in the court file. That doesn't typically get served. Um, but but the, the petition... And the um, the petition gives you the, the notice, of course, tells you about the hearing. The petition tells you what the allegations brought against you were, right? The, what the other party said about you. So you're on notice about that. Um, and then evidence is placed by the parties in the court file and it's made available for each party to see and inspect and so forth and prepare for the hearing. So it's not something the law enforcement gives to you. And how come on the form it says that? I don't know. It's like um something page eight or something eleven or something like that. It says all those things are supposed to be in search. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Anything that was filed as part of the petition would be. Where did that come from? But uh, there's other things besides <laughs> what's filed with the petition that may have been filed later. Just yeah. going deep on his mouth. I, I don't know. I don't have the answer. I mean, I thought the, not getting the petition was strange as well. Okay. So, it, kind of cutting through that. The, to the, the main issue I think you were bringing up when you originally sat down was you feel like you didn't get enough time to prepare for this. Thursday and Friday and the weekend? Yeah. Okay. So do you need more time? Yes, sir. Okay. How much more um, time do you need? Um, I do. Um, to be on, uh, he was served a notice for the order. Um, Mr. Blue, back I. Back in the beginning of. I haven't so. finished here. Mr. Taylor, yet I'll I'll give you your turn to respond to that in just a second, okay? All right. So I, I'm sorry. Is Casey I'm, a magician? He's got one of those magician beards and stuff. I need to be ready to respond. Casey's mm -hmm. weird, I think. A Von Dyke. Okay. So a what? I did have something. Von Dyke. Watch out, sweetie. I'm sorry. 
and for Mike I came here and tried to get some stuff. Racist yesterday, calling uh, <laughs> Blue Betty black, and now today he's talking about the uh, the Beep Van Beep show. Uh, look at the old lady though; she looks mad. Are you calling her? Never mind. All right. Well, let's let's see what we can do. All right. So, Mr. Uh, Blue, <laughs> Mr. Taylor is asking the court to extend his uh, to extend your hearing for an additional week so he can be ready to respond to the uh, petition. So, what do you think about that? And your microphone's currently muted. Question: <clears throat> um, I believe it's, that he knew what was that uh, he was being served as evidence shows that um, he had not he had knowledge a uh, week prior to um, being officially served um, he just avoided uh, any contact with law enforcement um, but I will go with whatever uh, you decide to do today okay all right well I think I mean a week's not a lot to ask um, and I think it seems fair to me if you were served on Wednesday, I think. I mean, technically, maybe we could say, well, there was five. I'm intrigued by where Casey's at. That's kind of marginal. And if you also haven't had a chance to inspect any of the I, material in the court file, you know what? I almost think it, I, I, there's no way in hell he's a truck driver, but there are the, the space and, you know, where like you lay down in some trucks uh -huh. that there's like ceilings and, and walls that are reminiscent to that. But other, I, I really can't. I, I don't know. I we we like to uh make guesses quite often about you know <laughs> different places, but this one I really don't you know, know what I just thought of. Maybe the wall is smooth and he has like a grate over his window and the light is shining through the grate wow. and making a shadow of the grate I mean, on the wall. I mean I I could see that, but maybe damn and probably be better if you got to see that first before you had to respond to it so i think we can probably do that the, the calendar on the 18th wasn't too full was it I, I didn't think it was okay well then we can do that we can go out one week and uh so what i'll do is extend uh the order okay they're going out a week just a second i hope he's got a question is that oh, okay okay go oh, we're going to get the lead so having a week uh, Welcome, Gecko Chaser. What's my copy? Because uh, I only give it that many days. Really, uh, Thursday is the would Thursday. be the normal uh, cutoff there, the filing deadline. That's really uh, Maggie. We have a chase. Oh. It's not really good. It's not till Thursday. All right. Gecko Chaser is also a member. Give us just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, as we uh, transition. To a beautiful butterfly. Yes. Na, 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 na. Uh, but it's over already. What's it on? I'm not sure. Uh, it's not on KTLA. It don't look like CBS. Hurrah! Hold up, KK. Oh, oh, stolen vehicle. Now, uh, oh, on the on the sidewalk into a gas station, just making a cut here as they turn, I believe. Where they go now? There we go. Here they are making perfect a timing. Left hand turn here. Give it a minute. Um, it'll it come makes back you wonder, forward. you know, where are they going? And this car making very, very aggressive turns and passing. You're welcome. Uh, on the right side of the other traffic, and this oh, going on the wrong side of the road. So dangerous. You know, people unaware that this is happening. No lights and sirens to give uh, other drivers a heads up. I tried to ignore it. Coming down the road. 
going through a stop sign, making that aggressive turn, and they have no idea that this car is coming their way because so often it's the lights and sirens that warn other people to slow down, to pull over. But in this case, there is no warning, no heads up that this driver is barreling through this neighborhood, running another <laughs> stop sign, making another left turn here. Uh, and, you know, Mark, we know this is a Audi. Nice looking car, a model Audi. That's a sweet ride. Right. Audi. Don't quote me on that one, but this is a fast vehicle. Don't quote me, son. I ain't said the shit. Strength, the muscle of That's this, what she uh, said. Vehicle to get through these uh, intersections very quickly. Another stop sign run there. Mark, do you know where this car was actually taken from? Yeah, well, you know, we don't know where the stolen report came from, but they picked it up on the westbound 60 passing Grand. That's much oh. further to the north. Oh, we're, we're parking. Parking oh. in a residential. Yeah, now. It's like a high rise. Can't see with SkyCal if anybody is getting wow. out. And I'll tell you, Amy, uh, I, you know, last week. We uh, interesting with spot. Truck where there was some jurisdictional issues about. You could see somebody running right there Looks for like a slight second. Again, because this vehicle was off the freeway for so long, CHP tossed it over to the sheriffs. And now sheriffs are unclear whether or not. Of course, it's over after I share it to uh, we got a chase. Oh, naturally. That yes. orbit, it's tough to tell if anybody has been able to get out of this parking structure. I do hear right now as we speak on the radio, the air unit, the law enforcement helicopter overhead is calling out that this vehicle is parked in that parking space and they do have eyes on it. And right there, that may be a yeah. sheriff's Dude vehicle. got out and ran, that I'd be more worried about. Downey PD, I'm not but. sure. But they vectored right into this location. What's your vector, Victor? I don't Victor? see anyone getting out of that car or running. The driver may just be in there waiting it out to see if they're waiting for clearance, Clarence. To approach them, that ground. The white zone is like for parking and unloading right and by. stopping. You can see the tail lights on, Mark. So it looks like somebody's still in the you car. You ever seen a grown man I naked? Right. I don't think anybody got out of that vehicle. D I with his over southern over fried corn on the cob. To the unit on the ground saying it is sitting right there. Oh, in oh, the oh, 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 white shoes, yeah, white shoes. shoes. That's not. Yeah, a, you can see that. They I'm telling you. Showing, uh, Sky when when they showed it, you could see a little blip of that person running out of the car. They may be trying to get out and hide and walk casually away from this. Well, they had plenty of time to do that. Boy, they one sure did. Out, one didn't. Maybe they're assessing the area. But, you know, we talked about how they seem to be knowing where they wanted to go. And this may. Well, guys, we had a uh, exactly we had a live one to get to a parking garage where they, they parked. Just, we went live on the others. Uh, and we see a lot of went and parked. There now yeah. And a lot of so anyone that's joining us over on We Got a Chase right now, car, you can see them walking. You there may have missed it. Roadway. Uh, there's someone walking right there. Yeah, yeah. there's people uh, walking uh, everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I, they didn't have a good description. Just two men, so we don't yeah. know what they look like. Well, they, they, I, they very easily could uh, blend let me in. Creed stole that car. He now is setting up a perimeter. You can see. Oh, oh. Well, that guy's uh, there's a dude passed out over here on the ground. It's very weird. Is that broken glass all over the ground. At least believe this person was involved. In That's the guy with the white shoes on that we just saw a second ago. On either of the men that were in that vehicle, uh, perhaps. Long Did you see? Yeah, it was just a little, say it on the radio little blip uh, right after the park. Way. And there was that other gentleman that was walking through the parking lot. Sky Cal did briefly see that man. I don't see him being taken into custody down here, but it looks like no one has yet approached the car to open it up unless they are doing that right now. And we can't see it with Sky Cal because of the perspective that we've got right here. But I, I, I do hear with the CHP radio frequencies, they have gone quiet. That usually m means that the officers on the ground are conducting some kind of an operation. The air unit does not have any further details to provide them. I'm also not actually listening to Dan. Uh, you, you want to stick with this for just a couple of minutes before we go just back? A few, yeah, yeah, just a few minutes. Just, just enough time to go out and check right traffic now, weather. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. But it's very this guy. And as soon as he gets up, guess what's going to happen? This is going to... Let me switch and over to see if I can listen to what Downey is doing and get a better We idea. will be sitting uh, just, just looking at each other. Well, I'm going back, guys. To see the uh, sheriff's uh, helicopter. They've opened up the trunk. They are, in fact, uh, officers no are. No junk in the trunk? That uh, Audi that has been reported stolen that was uh, tracked right into this parking garage. They were looking for the two men that were yeah, in I don't think it was him car. either, Rich. One person is being detained but we do not know what happened to the other person. At one point, Mark was hearing that at least one person was armed. That may have been how they stole this car, but we don't know if they, in fact, did have a weapon. We don't know if a weapon has been found on this person or 
if someone got away and that person, or they may have, in fact, yes, left a weapon inside that vehicle. You just can't say at this point until Mark is able to talk to some of the law enforcement, but uh, they were able, they thought at least, to hide in this area. And while we weren't able to see the cruisers close behind this car, uh, we do now know that they were pretty close behind them and have been able to at least track one of those suspects uh, outside of this vehicle. We have not heard yet. Horrible parking job. Suspect at this point, but one is in custody, it appears. And uh, we're showing you All now. Right, so there's right where he pulls in. in. That stolen silver Audi pulled into that parking uh, garage there. And then you see that one Thanks suspect. Thanks for not letting us see it. Caught by law enforcement, but there is in fact two a second person. They did report amazing. two men in that stolen oh, Audi uh, that they were after, and we are still waiting for word on whether or not that other suspect was caught. All right, all right. So here, hold on. Let's keep a close eye on this. Mark will give us an update when he gets new information. But until then, we want to check in with our meteorologist. All right, so they they've gone to the weather. Weather forecast. Damn. Hi, Amy. And you can see out there, we're still dealing Gone with the, to the weather the conditions. So it all depends Creed, on the weather. Outside of our broadcast center, we have a little bit more of the sunshine. I can't control Creed's sky, volume either. Clouds. But we're definitely going to start to see a lot more. Sun. Party on, on Wayne. For the second half of the day. Riverside right now, Party also on. looking at partly cloudy skies, 54 degrees. And here's a quick look out the door. If you're headed to the Inland Empire. He really Inland needed Empire, it. Empire, you're really, really did. I mean, I can't expect the guy to suffer as we listen to the weather. I was monitoring. Thank you for being that there. was going to pass our area, but not bring us any of that more. Stop, shut up. More weather. Not your weather. I want to see if I could back. I can't back that thing up. So I'm sorry. It's just a live feed. So we can't look again uh, at it. Anyways. Ooh, um, look at that. Hello. Amazon Girl 5. We got him, Chase Joe. Thank you. And hallelujah. And thank uh, you again to Party On Wayne for being a legend status for two months now. Two all right, Shouldn't so we're in the middle of court, ladies and gentlemen. Are we, are we gonna dump them, or are we just going? Yeah, there? everybody over on we got uh, a chase. Uh, we love you. We'll see you back at four o five. Don't forget about that. It's gonna be a good one. There's a guy claiming to be Satan. Just saying. <laughs> I'll be there for that. Well, Bye, so everybody over you. there. Nice. And we are uh, here. Are uh, heading back. Yeah, we. You never know uh, when you got a, a live one like that. The only reason why I wanted to jump on that real quick is because they were hauling ass. Yeah, it was looking like it was going to be something. Um, but uh, you didn't. You didn't miss anything. I think we watched them run through a few uh, intersections, and that was it. All right. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Back to court. We go. Your own stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, there shouldn't be much. I mean, you. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> you can file it you know file it by thursday that gives me right strange noises showing, sir. uh mr Emmett, oh, you oh, Mark, for me this has got to be the guy she's against right you're hearing today uh, yes i'm ready okay. <laughs> i reviewed the record and saw that you had been served with notice he's out in right. his she shed your uh, point are you ready to go as well i am your honor thank you hey yeah beautiful hair All right, yes you did ever, where are you both in and For then, real. Uh, I'll hear from Miss uh, your Particle Board, board Heaven, Mr. Emick. After that, um, keep in mind that did I they used to date? Petition and no. everything that's in the record. It's not necessary for you to repeat any them. of that. I don't think so. It, you don't. You're not required to. Repeat. What a random. Uh, Stuff on the shelf, by the way. Uh, there's just no need for the shelf, really. Is there? It's I, a very I, high up shelf, too. It is, unless he's really little. He could be sitting on uh, the we wrapping things. Like, he's got like wrapping paper right here. I what a I don't know. Such a weird room. He's in a shed of some sort, though. Right? Is that a journey uh, joke, Vicky? <laughs> Trying to say he looks like lead singer journey. Writing is yeah, what I'm telling so. you. And in, any of those <laughs> I things see that have previously been filed are part of the record in the case and can be used as part of the decision as to whether or not to issue the order. Um, and so it, feel free to refer me to any of those uh, documents or other exhibits if you want to. Um, <laughs> Don't even have and to. then um, so you, have to you, you saw what happened at the last uh, discussion. It, it only works if one at a time, one person at a time talks and interrupting each other is oh, obviously a beautiful smile. effective and it's, 
you know, I, I just don't. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that uh, they were never together. Uh, he is madly, and I mean madly in love with her and has stalked her. That's that's what I'm, that's my prediction anyway. I w- almost was going to say they live next to each other. But there's no damn way he lives in something that looks like this and she lives in something that well, looks like that. I mean, there might be a shed out back of her house. I don't know. Uh, look at that. Five over the main channel. Gifted today. I appreciate you a ton. Party on Wayne with a new picture today. Thank I can you. that. I, I, it's I can small. tell what it is. I, I think it's a pair of pink panties. Let's go with that don't think it works so uh keep that in mind and keep in mind that you you get to address the court fully on your issue and then you get a chance to respond fully so even if the other party Voss, it was funny two minutes ago when i said he says things that you don't agree are true it's not necessary to interrupt them just keep in mind you get to tell your side of it they get to tell their side of it that's how it works all right so can i have each of you raise your right hand and do each of you swear that the testimony that you give in this case will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Well, that's particle board. I ain't plywood. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, point, go ahead. Not don't insult that. plywood that way. I am here to request the approval of my petition for a protection order against Mr. Emick. I am moving forward with this anti-harassment order at the suggestion of law enforcement after an incident on February 24th that resulted in Mr. Emick physically assaulting my husband and I on our property. Uh, This event can be found in more detail on pages 10 and 11 of the petition. Unfortunately, law enforcement was unable to charge Mr. Emick because we did not have obvious physical injuries and Mr. Emick would not answer his door when they arrived to question (laughs) him. Pro move. Emick has exhibited a pattern of behavior that is seriously alarming and concerning. He's been made aware of this behavior, and not only has it continued, but it is now escalated to physical assault. Uh, it's clear that Mr. Emick is retaliating in response to violations that he has been found guilty of on his property. He appears to be encouraging and recruiting family and friends to join him in this behavior as well. Recruiting. Uh, Mr. Bemick's behaviors and actions are well known in the neighborhood. He has had altercations with several other neighbors. This has become serious enough that six families have come together to meet and discuss their concerns about Mr. Emick after an incident in which a camper was set on fire with propane tanks inside that caused several large explosions and resulted in a brush fire that quickly spread on Mr. Emick's property. Thankfully, this fire was extinguished by the fire department, but that was only after neighbors called emergency services. After our daughter's bedroom window was broken, the responding officers recommended we install lights and cameras for security. We inquired with them about the placement of the lights and the cameras, and they gave us their suggestions. We followed their suggestions on February 24th when officers arrived at our home. We again confirmed that our cameras and lights were following Washington state laws. Sheriff's Deputy Zamora stated we were well within our legal right to protect ourselves and our property. Throughout this ordeal, I have never contacted Mr. Emick via phone, email, text, or in person. I have never confronted him, and I have never returned his offensive gestures. In fact, I have not spoken to Mr. Emick since August of 2020. So I'm thinking this. What do you think those offensive gestures are? I only know Uh, the the middle finger. Right, an offensive gesture would be like uh, right back at you. Maybe he's like, "Ah, yeah. So is he not going after her? He's just, uh, I guess, I. He well, he assaulted her and her husband in their yard. Yeah. He. uh, He's recruiting others to uh, attack them. Now there's a six family coalition coming after Mr. Emmerich. Um, he's blowing up campers, breaking <laughs> little girl windows, <laughs> allegedly. All right. So he's a menace to the neighborhood. Maybe. Sure. The safety of my children and myself and to create a clear boundary for Mr. Emmick as well as the ability to pursue legal action in the future should his behavior not stop. It's my hope that this order of protection will diffuse the situation and prevent future incidents with Mr. Emick and third parties on his property. I will say uh, it doesn't help him much uh, with his backdrop. Uh, 
You know what I mean? Like it's just. Like, I know he's like, he's one rebel flag short <laughs> of starting a militia. Yeah. So thank you again for your time and assistance in this matter today, Your Honor. It is greatly appreciated. Hi, Ann. I would do anything right, for Mr. her. Mr. Uh, Emick, you want to go ahead with your response? Yeah, the the night she is talking about, uh, I believe it's the February 24th. Uh, yeah, we went over to the fence. Um, they were blaring, blasting very loud music. So we walked over there to see what was going on because we couldn't even see them. And uh, they started actually hitting us with sticks um over the fence so i'm not sure what she's talking about of us assaulting them uh i i reached over to try to grab the stick out of his hand while he was hitting me and did you my not, friends which were on my property do not have so sticks out of your incident. property um i don't know what else i need to defend me and my friends were larping and they the fire talking, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to explain everything that she's lying about. The fire she's talking about is something my girlfriend had to do with. She's on the fire department record. She got the ticket for it. I had nothing to do with it. They've been after me. They have lights blaring 300 feet over my whole property. I have, <laughs> did you get documentation that I filed? I filed like 30. I, I have. 40, yeah, I do. I have pieces these. of evidence. I was, once 40. this goes through, I'm actually going to file a harassment order on her because I'm not really sure what they think I'm mm -hmm. harassing them with. I didn't break their window. We were actually in OMAC that weekend. Oh, yeah. And I have proof of that. Hotel records. We Ermac were in OMAC. I, I, uh, I showed all the text messages that her husband has sent to me, how violent they are. If they had another text message from me, I guarantee you they would have presented it. I don't text them back. I don't harass them. I can't see their property. I built a secondary fence just so I don't have to see them. They shot my truck window out with a BB gun. I called the sheriff. I have documentation of that. He said, I can't do anything unless it's on camera. But my truck happened to be right next to the property line facing right where, you know, it's pretty obvious. They've called the county on me. They've called Orc on me, even if my neighbors are burning. Uh, even if my neighbors are burning. <laughs> uh, we got a case channel. Thank you for the five uh, gifted memberships to ourselves. Wow. Look at Thank that. You too, I guess. We're just uh, celebrating Creed's birthday early. So, yeah. Joy. I don't know if, I don't really know how to, uh, I don't know if anything I'm saying is pertinent to this case. It's no. pertinent to them. Hurting. God, I hope you're not going to MCO. Did you see any of that stuff from yesterday? Have you seen it? It's oh, pretty no. crazy. Uh, in Orlando at the airport, that you know, they show the double boards, you know. I think there was two. That were not canceled or that were not uh then it was all red oh wow everybody. why like uh i guess i had not that sure. like that's my guess as I, I i only read just a couple of seconds on uh on the reddit of people that were there for 12 14 16 hours I'm thinking, jesus christ could you imagine mm. harassing me but in no way do i harass them I will, you know what, Triple H, I will say, and Mikey, I don't know about you, but uh, he's coming off a lot better than I originally thought. I thought this was a cut and dry. I yeah. thought that as soon as he was going to start speaking, that he was going to sound like a nut. But, but the judge takes this at, uh, and again, we can't see some of the 30 pieces of evidence he submitted. Um, if judge takes things that, I mean, if you tuned in just now and you said, this lady needs a harassment thing against this guy. You'd be like, yep, she sure does. Boy, we, uh, I mean, we, we kind of, we, oh. <laughs> we did. Face we value once it. again. Right. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I think that he's speaking a little bit better than I, I first uh, expected anyways. I'd like to know what, how I'm harassing them. Well, not with sticks. Is there anything else, Mr. Emick? That's, That's it. Oh, she just shut him down. Right, I got, um, like she said, I have not seen her in four years. I don't see their kids. Four years. Sorry that uh, there's a difficult relationship between neighbors here. Um, that's that's always a that's always in, a tough. In one of the items on 113 2024, I'm up in the I'm up in a tree about 15 feet up in a tree, 130 feet away from my fence, putting up an antenna so we can watch football. 
he comes out on these stairs and he just starts filming me. That's what they do. They have these stairs that overlook my property and they constantly film me. And yes, we do flip off their cameras because their cameras are invading our privacy and they look about 200 to 300 feet over our property. And I'm looking into hiring a lawyer to deal with all this once we go through with whatever happens here. Oh, wow. Well, the rich get richer and the poor get antennas up damn trees to watch football. Right. Yes. I can't afford to uh, get uh, internet or a uh, you know subscription to anything to watch football, right. but uh, I'm going to hire a lawyer. I do. I do find. Um, I do find Ms. Pierpoint's uh, allegations of harassment to be credible and they're consistent with what was placed in her petition originally in this case. Uh, ordinarily, conflict between neighbors is not the kind of thing that's going to result in issuing an anti-harassment order. Um, people are not required to get along. People are not required to be nice. Uh, people are also allowed to express their displeasure with each other uh, and even do that in ways that can be offensive or really unpleasant. But lines can be crossed and lines can be crossed when uh, when uh, threats are, are made, lines can be crossed when physical violence occurs or property damage occurs or attempts to do those things. And it appears to me that um, what Ms. Pierpoint is saying is, uh, is credible with regard to physical assaults uh, and damages <laughs> and- finding that the uh, the um, allegations that she's made in her petition and repeated here today are credible. And uh, I think those form the basis to find that there's been a pattern of behavior directed at her uh, and that behavior is serving no lawful purpose and is also harmful to her physical or mental well-being. And any reasonable person would uh, suffer the same kind of harm. So. Uh, I'm going to issue the order, which really means what I'm doing is extending the um, order that was issued on a temporary basis uh, for a year. Wow. The same, the same terms and conditions. Can you explain to me right. what, what, how I'm harassing them? What am so I, I actually I, doing? All right. I, I've done that. I've made, made my ruling and I've explained it. And that, that is the ruling of the court. What am I restricted from doing? So I'll explain that part of this in just a moment. Am I able to file a harassment? All right, this order just uh, prohibits the same things that the temporary order did, which is uh, to say no, no harm, uh, no, no foul contact, and uh, no approaching the uh, protected person's uh, residence or the person themselves. However, this Restriction does not uh, exclude the respondent from his own property or residence. And this order will be in effect for one year from today's date. That's to say March 11th of 2025. Maybe there was some video that we didn't see. Where right. This order I... will be uh, filed by the court clerk today. There has to be. Uh, available to both of you shortly. Can I? Thank you. So uh, before we get to the redhead. Um, again, understand, and he even admitted that he, uh, uh, submitted between 30 and 40. I don't remember what the number was, but it was a lot of pieces of evidence. Um, I'm sure that she did as well. And we are not privy with him, uh, as judge, we're, we're never privy to what a lot of that is. And I guarantee there was a lot of video footage. Yeah. If they had that much, that, that many cameras, I mean, and these people sound like very wealthy folk. Um, they got staircases just They're in a nice house I mean. all over the place outside, but, like a Lambeth. You know, if we look at it from what we are presented, that seems like a uh, not the best decision in the world because it didn't sound like much happened there at all, even from her hadn't seen for four years. But so, anyways, just just keep in mind that that part that we don't we don't know the whole story. The judge does so. There's that. He was not seduced by her good looks. Hello. Go deep or go home. That's what I say, too. Jillian, get your finger out of your nose, please. I'm doing very well with uh, pausing today. Yeah, you're knowing it. I think so, Tom. Let's watch all together. No, oh, I just a swipe of the hair. What happens next? <laughs> the game show. 
And we got two old people. Over she here. looks familiar. Is that the lady with the table? There we go. All right. And Miss Hauser, did you uh, get enough time uh, hmm. to be ready to go with the hearing today? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. She looks familiar. And she's also all the right, one that was so sitting the, in the uh, uh, pews a little bit ago, too, I believe. It's like we have all the uh, exhibits, the petition. This can't be the table lady. I thought they dismissed that. That's got to be a different lady. She looks very familiar. That's uh, that You've seen be. one old lady. You've seen them all. That's Ladies. a good point, too. Mm -hmm. And very photogenic. Excuse me. There we go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, I'm a witness for Carol Solar. Okay. Did you need something? No, I just wanted to make sure. That okay. You know I was here. <laughs> all right. No, we know you're here. We uh, we can see you. You know um, that old saying, don't you, Creed? Right. No, it's oh, uh, red, uh, red on the head, good in bed. So um, again, I'm. What I'll do is start by swearing you both in, um, so you'll be able to tell it, tell your side first, and then Ms. Hauser you either respond. And again, keep in mind that everything that you filed, written up to now, is already part of the court record, and I've reviewed it, so it's not necessary to repeat everything in order to have me consider it yeah i'm not sure how far back i should go <laughs> all right well let me get you sworn in then and i'll let you, so far back. Been on a you swear that the testimony that you give in this case will be the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth i do okay thank you all right and so miss solar go right ahead okay uh we met at the Tanana event. um sharon said she was autistic and i told her that my daughter who is here is also autistic what? And uh, she said she could help my daughter. Mm -hmm. And she asked me also to help her at the food bank, which I did. Um, anyway, then there was a Christmas party that she asked me to co-host. She did not just invite me. She asked me to co-host it because she was a little afraid to do it on her own. <laughs> so I agreed. And uh, my daughter and I came to her house and we talked about it. And... Uh, you know, things that she would want to give the guests and, and such. And uh, so the day came and I brought food, uh, mac and cheese, and everything seemed to be fine. Well, anyway, prior to that, um, she was concerned about where the guests were going to sit. And I told her that I had a folding table that she could use. The, this is, to be honest with you. What else did she say? Mac and cheese and what? That's the important part. What was the yeah, food? Go back again? to the food. Uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> what else did she I'm say? I'm trying to cleanse that? Rocky Dennis's face out of my uh, I, mind. That's good. Boss. <laughs> the movie always made me cry when I was a kid. My mom watched it like every other week. It was, it was torture. Torture. <laughs> um, I'm going back a minute. All right. And so, Miss Solar, go right ahead. Okay, uh, we met at the Tenino Food Bank. Um, Sharon said she was autistic, and I told her that my daughter what an opening was greeting. also autistic. I don't want this. And uh, she said she could help. I mean, I... <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm autistic. <laughs> uh, we got a chase to case gel. We got a case gel. Thank you for the font of YouTube. Thank you. Celebrating good times. Come on. My daughter mm -hmm. and she asked me also to help her at the food bank which i did um anyway then there was a christmas party that she asked me to co-host she did not just invite me she asked me to co-host it i so it is huh I, it's gotta be remember you, you mentioned be, that about the right? folding table remember that i mean we laughed about that but i mean if that's if this is the same old lady wanting this table back oh my god I know there's got to be more than mac and cheese, Grigsy. Hey, Grigsy. It's a food bag. You got to have more than mac and cheese. It's a Christmas party, no less. Because she was a little afraid to do it on her own. Ta -da! So I agreed. Chris. And, uh, my daughter and I came to her house and we talked about it. And, uh, you know, things that she would want yes. to suggest. And, and stuff. It was a cliffhanger we never knew about the scratch offs. Yeah. yeah. I was like, did anybody win? <laughs> it's tiny picker, thank you. And uh, so the day came, and I brought food, uh, mac and cheese, and everything seemed to be fine. Well, anyway, prior That's to all that, she, um, she was concerned about where the guests were going to sit, and I told her that I had a folding table that she could use. 
<laughs> my god it is chris it's about the folding table holy shit oh come on oh my Let's god go. it was was that not just a small portion of the uh the last one where it just with the about the table a couple of times she mentioned right, right. there had been one time she brought it up and they were coming into court so then they had to reset for another reason, this is like the third time we've been in here with these folding table people and the Christmas party with the scratchers. Hi, I'm autistic. Wow. Oh, my, my daughter's autistic. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's a ridiculous situation. I agree. Anyway, um, so uh, while I was there, I overheard, uh, I think she's another co-worker that she used to work with. Uh, talk about her putting holes in her walls at home and share in response to, I was just mad. And I didn't say anything. I just overheard this. Um, okay. Anyway, um, the first day I met Sharon, I gave her a crystal as kind of a token for our new friendship. And then at the party, I gave her cognac glasses, crystal shells, and driftwood. So anyway, um, she put scraps Some garbage I found around my house, her little boxes for her guests. And after all the guests had left, um, my daughter and I were still there. And Sharon, who I watched the video because I apologize. I didn't show up at court last time because I got the time wrong. That's and my daughter true. had been here at 1.30 instead of 9 o'clock in the morning. So I was told I could view it on uh video um sharon offered her tickets to my daughter and said thank you for helping with the party um my daughter never asked her for those tickets and i told her she could borrow my table until she got another one um oh my god uh sharon um exhibits fearfulness of objects um i witnessed this at the party and the last time i was at her house she said her ex-husband brought something over and she couldn't handle it she put it in another room because she's terrified of the essence or whatever and i also witnessed her um hitting her dog and her dog's ears were down and the dog kept on wanting to play with me and she said hit the dog in the nose and i said no i don't want to do that the same day she offered me Xanax, which I didn't want. Um, God, not I, the drugs! Now it's the drugs. Oh my God, this is all right. This is good. Good. Oh my God, she's fearful of objects. Your Honor, I put a knife to her face, and she got scared, and she said, "I'm afraid of objects." She went to the other room. And, she went to the other room and gave her dog a Xanax and come back in. This sure, is crazy. Yeah, uh, now we're now now it's going into a whole different uh, thing. We're not beating on dogs. And uh, trying to give out drugs. Quit smoking pot. And I was also a pot smoker. And she told me that if she quit sm smoking marijuana, she wouldn't be able to talk to anybody for, for two weeks. <laughs> so I didn't call her for two weeks. But prior to that, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Uh, before I left her house, which was the last time I saw her prior to her coming to my house, um, I saw a hole in her door and I said, how did this happen? She says, I got mad. And I said, you shouldn't really be destroying your own house. And I said it <laughs> nicely, but I think she got irritated and basically told me to leave. And the reason I was there in the first place was because she said she was sick and uh, I offered to bring her food from the Tenino food bank. Is that what that's supposed um, to be? It's just mac and cheese here. she's going to bring to my house since or called me. But I also believe that's true because there was a temporary order of protection and then she got served again. I do worry about my safety because I have balancing issues and uh, she is clearly an angry balancing. person. But when you first meet Sharon, she seems like a very nice person. And she told me she could help my daughter with autism. That's how we started our cure, relationship. Cure her. And, uh, while she was in court last time, she told the judge that she was fearful of my daughter. And my daughter is a sweet young lady, never hurt anybody. She's a high functioning autistic person. And over a silly table, she wouldn't 
go after this woman. And as far as phone calls are concerned, um, I waited 14 days before I called her after leaving her house the last time. I respected her because she wanted to quit smoking marijuana. So I gave her the two weeks and an extra, well, the two weeks. And I called the first phone call. I said, hi, Sharon, give me a call. I waited a while and then I called again because I figured it's time to get my table back. And I called her again and I said, Sharon, uh, give me a call. And then I noticed that the answering machine had changed. So at that point I knew she was ignoring my calls. So then I called her again and I said, Sharon, I can't really afford to give you the table. Nobody uh, just likes you. Sharon's the call. other old lady. Just on the other side of the table. The one that's afraid of shapes and objects. And and it's a little wobbly on her feet, I guess. Takes Xanaxes and, and beats her dog. Beats the dog. Just smack its nose. If you don't want to see us, just leave it outside and we'll pick it up. We won't even knock on your door. And uh, anyway, uh, pretty soon I got a knock on my door. Dashing. And she was screaming at me at the top of her lungs. Most of my neighbors. I am the table. But anyway, she was screaming and yelling at me me. and telling me not to call her again. And if she saw me, she was going to beat me up and she was going to call the police. And I couldn't get a word in edgewise because she wouldn't stop screaming and yelling. And by the time she left, I was shaking and I called the police and I told them what happened. And then uh, I don't know. I do, I, are you guys all okay? Sharon is the old lady that we saw briefly just for a second. She has a trapper keeper too. <laughs> I wonder how the she's, zipper. She's is. sitting at the opposite table than this young lady is. Yeah, we'll see her in a minute. I promise you, she'll have a few things to say. She'll materialize. I promise. If it was the same day or the next day, but I called the senior center, which is another thing. When I first met her. I uh, donated to the auction of the senior center. So I've been nothing but nice to this woman. Um, and I had asked uh, the director there if I should have any reason to be fearful of, the, of Sharon. And the woman got annoyed with me and I said, well, thank you very much and I hung up. And at that point, I just got the anti-harassment order. And as far as my son is wall there. he is in an Arizona prison, uh, jail. Unfortunately, he's had drug issues for many years. Um, he's not even getting out till July. And when he does get out, he will be extradited to Illinois. So her claims of my children harming her is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And your honor, um, he'll never hurt her. He's, he's got a life in prison. Uh, I know I'm twice the weight of her, um, but I do have balancing issues. I have numbness on my left foot. I have a hip replacement. And if I had to, to quickly get away from somebody or be even slightly pushed, even in my own home, I lose my balance. And I feel that I don't want to see her at the Canino Food Bank. She lives in Yelm and there's plenty of food banks there. And I just don't want her around me, to be honest with you. And that's all I have to say. That's it? Oh, thank God. That's it? That's all you got to say? I'm going to be sure. honest with you about my evaluation of this. I really don't see any harassment here. Okay. I'm having a real hard time seeing anything that could be considered legal harassment. Um, I had that concern when I read the petition. Yeah. Um, I wanted to hear from you to, to see if you know, not people aren't always good at expressing things in writing, and sometimes yeah, they do it better quickly. by by talking about it. Yeah, and, you know, which is what you've done here. And you know, all I can, I think, I can confidently say, as a result of hearing all this and reading all this, is maybe Miss Hauser isn't really pleasant. <laughs> she might be a little bit difficult, um, but there's nothing about this that gives me the impression that she is. Um, doing any kind of, um, I guess, from, from a legal point of view, a pattern of conduct that's directed at you that would seriously injure or harass or harm you. Um, 
that doesn't seem that way at all. It, what it seems like is that you have a disagreement with her over, you know, her, the way she treats her dog, the way she treats her property, you know, how willing she is to communicate with you when you feel you have something you need to discuss. And, and I, I get that that can be irritating and difficult, especially since it sounds to me like you were trying to kind of reach out and be friendly and, you know, maybe strike up a, a friendship, you know, with her, but uh, um, not happening. that didn't work out. And maybe she does. She just doesn't reciprocate. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to require her to answer any of this because I still don't. You know, even after you presented it in writing, even after you presented it, you know, here orally. He always wants my to reciprocate. I just can't make the legal final that she did constitutes harassment. May I say one more thing? Sure. No, God. I had a feeling that I would not get the order, and I'm okay with that. I advised the crystal. Uh, the main reason I came back here today was to defend my daughter. My daughter sure. is a very sweet, loving young lady. Point awesome. to her again like you did a minute ago. Yeah, and that's you know perfectly understandable. I mean, we all want to, you know, defend our kids, and you know, clearly she's his Jillian, right? Yeah. Yeah. She, I read about her in here. She's, you know, I, I think that's a natural thing for a parent. Yeah. So I, I guess maybe I'll leave you Did with this. Just, maybe oh, okay. you know, as unfortunate as it is, maybe there's just no kind of friendship or relationship to be had here. So it's basically a you know, don't don't reach out to her. Just you know focus another direction and you all just live your lives uh, separately from each other. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All Could right. you just called her on the phone, told her this judge. Sign the order. The court clerk will place it in the court file and you can each get a copy of it whenever you like. <laughs> where do we get it? She's going to file it online, but I think oh. she might be able to copy it right here for you since you're standing right here and oh, okay. you can get a copy before you go. I don't oh, think uh, I don't think that's the last time that we hear about this folding table. <laughs> what a saga that was! Yeah, I did not know that was at the end. And man, am I happy to see that! That was a great oh, note to you go didn't out even on. know that one was oh, no great. No, no, guys. I'm sure that told me they just like look. That's the end, Daddy. Oh, oh wow. boy, what a uh, great time that was! A long show, but. Well, we had a chase in there too, so we had fun. Uh, speaking of having fun, gonna be some fun happening at 3 p.m. Eastern time because uh, I've cobbled together uh, the latest and greatest from Judge Middleton this week, well, actually, this week and last week. So, uh, join me, shall you, for um, some Middleton in the middle of the week at 3 p.m. Eastern, I like that. Dennis, right on top, great to see you. Dennis, did you see that guy running away from that car? Because I think we got the wrong guy. Oh, I'm just I'm saying. Pretty sure. I wish, I wish I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and uh, and look frame by frame, frame by frame. Uh, well, I got a second. We'll see on. Uh, we got a jackpot tonight, by the way. After we got a chase, Ooh. might as well get get one in there. I did something really stupid. I'm not even gonna admit how oh, much shit. I've spent for this. Uh, it's probably going to be the most expensive uh, we got a jackpot ever. Um, the Love Thy Neighbor Express, Gary, Pam Butterfield. Oh, Billy. Gecko Chaser, welcome. Amazon Girl, the big gifter. Uh, Party on Wayne, another big gifter with a baby. Chrissy, known gifter. Tiny piggy, tiny piggy, tiny piggy. Thank you guys so much. Say my name, say my name. And while you're saying those names, make sure you click the like button, subscribe wherever you're watching. Bye. We'd love to have you on all three channels, but if you just want to pick one that you want to be, uh, you know, hanging out with us on, we appreciate that too. See, everything Middleton coming up. Uh, five cases. It's a stacked card, not one stinker in the bunch. Well, maybe one stinker. I don't want to go crazy. You guys stay safe, stay hard, stay tuned. We'll see you for the next one. Cause you never know when sweet tea is going to drop five on the caboose, putting five in the caboose. Thank, Thank, you, sweet sweet. Tea. Thank you, sweet tea for putting five in the caboose. Take care. Bye. <laughs>
Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stacked. My hand is broken. That's all I can hear when I see that picture. 